All right, this is a new recipe that I have not done before, so we're gonna see how it turns out. Spoiler alert, if you're watching this video, it worked. So these are taco bites. I have some corn tortilla chips, some refried beans, Colby Jack cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like best. I buy the block and shred it myself because it melts better that way. For topping, I have sour cream, some salsa, and some ranch sauce. The equipment for this recipe is really easy. You just need a cooking sheet. You can either spray your sheet or I'm using parchment paper. And then you're gonna want a spatula for spreading the beans onto the tortilla chips. So all you need to do is find whole chips in the bag, which might be the hardest part of this recipe. You're gonna spread a little bit of refried beans across the center of the chip. And you wanna go edge to edge and then sprinkle it with some cheese. Oh, and if you break a chip, you can eat it. New rule. This is why I think using a spatula is going to be best. Because it's a little more delicate. Just want to get your beans all the way across the chip. Put some cheese on it and repeat. Okay, everybody is beaned. What we're gonna do with these is fold them into tacos after they're cooked. So it's important that the beans go all the way across the center because that's gonna give the moisture so that you can fold it in theory. We'll see. So then you're just gonna put a little sprinkle of cheese on each one. You could probably do this, if you don't like beans, you could probably do it with beef. I would just grind it up or you know, break it up really fine and then do the taco seasoning in it and then do the same thing, do a stripe of the beef across the middle of the chip so that the moisture from the meat would soften the chip. So I've got my oven at 350. We're gonna just cook these for about six minutes and then they should be pliable so we can fold them into tacos. All right, into the oven they go. I cooked them for about eight minutes and you just fold them. You do like put your fingers on the ends of where the beans were and fold them that way. I tried folding them from the edges and they cracked. But if you go right here, oh, this one cracked a little. You can fold them in half and they're like little tacos. I think the more beans you put on them, the happier you'll be with how these fold. And you do want to give them like two minutes out of the oven before you start folding them or you burn your fingers. And even if they crack a little bit, the beans and the cheese glues them together. And then you can fill them if you want to put some lettuce in them. Yeah, see this one cracked a little bit, but cheese is glue. This is also life, some would say. There we go. For my dip, I just did some sour cream, like, I don't know, a third of a cup. I'm just gonna dump in some salsa till it looks right. There we go, I'm gonna try one. Don't double dip. Flip it around and use the other edge. Those are good, you guys. Yay.